What is up, guys? It is Farming Fred, and we are back. We're starting our West B, Wisconsin series. This is our second video. And, guys, we're digging in right away. We are chopping silage today. We got the T7 hooked up to our chopper, and then we got our uh, Meyer silage wagon on right now. And you can kind of see over there, we got the 1586 ready to roll with the backup wagon. Once we get this one full, let's get it. All right, guys, let's hop in the T7 and let's get rolling. I do apologize, guys. We're not taking very many rows out, and we can only go about six mile an hour. We have a silage additive in right now we're going to be using, and um, see, how, see how good it works. It's the new hype around the town right now, so we're giving it a shot. Then um, we'll uh, hopefully get <laughs> quite a bit done. We'll, it's going to take us a while to get a full wagon just due to the fact that we can't go too fast, but that's fine. I got all the hay guys cut up by our um, our lane there, and then I started cutting on the other side of the lane. And then we've got just a lot more to do. So, I like what we're driving in right now. This is all hay ground we're gonna have. Um, we got wheat to get out at some point in time. I believe anyways hopefully it's gonna be able to go we should be able to get out here and get that we might have to see we might end up cutting that for hay I'm not sure yet or for straw I mean okay we'll keep rolling on here I might have to move the 1586 out of the way. I was hoping where I parked it is where I was going to get full, and then I wouldn't even have to really move too much. We got the 706 up at the farm guys on the blower right now. Ready to roll, ready to rip. It is a slow process, but it's fun, chopping silage. I thought about getting a self-propelled. It's just, they're so expensive. They're like hundreds of thousands of dollars. If I could come across a used one for the right price, I maybe would. It's just, then we'd be getting full really fast. I'm hoping to make it through here without having to... Barely. As long as we don't hit silage wagon to silage wagon. Oh yeah, we're good. It's not like in this hill. T7 is definitely enough tractor for this, though. I don't think I'd want to put anything bigger on it. be nice once we get it opened up a little bit it's always the worst part is opening it up like over there along the fence that was terrible we were just running corn over just because there's not enough space to get the tractor in there now we're rolling here get that wagon full it's filling up pretty nicely but this this t7 guys i think is going to be our main use tractor just because of the fact we're going to use it for chopping use it for cutting hay <laughs> baling planting it's gonna get a lot of hours put on it really fast but that's okay yeah we're gonna be running it looks like a little bit guys once we get full to go grab the 1586 and get that thing filled which when I could see we're getting close I might have to unhook it a little bit before and just see if we can aim the chopper in it Then I don't have to dink around with trying to get enough space for the other tractor to get in there. This is my first time using one of these pull behind choppers. It's slow, but it's fun. We should be able to get around another round here. We've got one round almost complete and then we'll start on our second round we've got all of our brown swiss cattle out there as you guys can see really excited about that hope you guys are all having a good day today and hopefully this video can make it a little bit better 
I'm looking forward to combining to you guys once we get the 2388 out there. We got some corn to combine as well. Uh, just trying to make the turn and see what we can grab here. Uh, that'll work. And then now we've at least got it open up along the fence line here, which it might be faster just to. Oh, we're missing a little bit there. That'll be okay. We'll get it. <coughs> <coughs> That happens when you're shopping. About full. Alright guys, that would be a full silage wagon there. So let's um let's, uh, shut our chopper off. We'll hop out here. We'll uh, unhook the wagon. We'll move our I don't know how this is going to work because we're going to have to move the 1586 up into here too. Um, I'm just going to run up here. I think, I don't know why, but I think it's going to be faster just to grab our pickup up here, guys, and cruise that thing down there, which, where is the old Ford? Oh, it's clear over here by the machine shed. So maybe it wasn't faster, but I thought it was. I'm obsessed, guys, with the 7.3, by the way. I really like this truck. It'd be cool if it was a power stroke, though, but the OBS um, trucks are kind of hard to find right now. I mean, even these brick nose ones are hard to find. This was a this was a good find, though, on my end. I think I'm really happy with it. We got our silage additive sitting over there. We just kind of filled the truck up or filled the um, chopper up in the yard this morning. I was like, yep, let's get out there and start chopping some silage. And we'll go late tonight, guys. It'll be a it'll be a long night on chopping silage. Not sure, guys, how long the video is going to be today. It's probably going to be a little longer, just because of the fact that we got a lot of running around today. We got a lot of silage to chop. So yeah, unfortunately, we're not going to have our pickup around. But the nice thing is, is when we get this one full, hopefully it'll be somewhere up over here, where we can run to the pickup a little bit faster. And we'll have to. Yeah, that truck's awesome, guys. Really happy with it. Okay. 1586 time. See, guys, I kind of think this wheat is shot. Um, I'm pretty sure we're just going to have to till it up. Well, that's fine. I didn't even put it in. I bought all this ground with crops in it already. Um... Well, what was happening is I was renting this section here where the where the corn is because, I mean, I just chopped this. This is corn on corn every year. And then this other guy, one of the other side, the guy that owned it, and then I he sold it to me. And I thought he was going to take the weed off of it again, but maybe I was supposed to because it didn't get taken out. But that's fine, I guess. I didn't pay to put it in. So... I'm thinking we'll drop this one right here and we'll uh, hop over here and grab this one now. See how good the 1586 does pulling silage. There we go, got everything connected. Hopefully we'll fit through here, it's really the main goal. I think it's going to be very close. I think we're going to make it though, barely. Sweet. It's a heavy load for this tractor. No doubt about it. <clears throat> then we'll get up and we'll fire the 706 up and we'll start unloading silage. I don't exactly know, guys. We don't have a set route yet. We're just kind of <laughs> going wherever it takes us. A little bit of swerving around. We'll have to get a more set route because that's not going to be fun every time. We'll uh, turn our blower on here and it's on. We will be unloading silage. 
Sweet. That's a pretty sweet looking setup right there with the old internationals getting it done. Seven oh six and the fifteen eighty six. Get it done. Red power. <laughs> it's different not seeing deers, guys, that's for sure, but yeah, it's it's awesome. So that's, it's just such a long process. Like we're not like the big dairies where we're running big old crone choppers and a bunch of semis and just getting it out really fast. We're we're taking our time with it, but that's okay. We'll have to start feeding cows too. That's awesome, guys. I really, I really do enjoy that right there. Sweet setup. Okay, guys, we are rolling again. It takes a while to unload them silage wagons. It takes a while to load them, though, too. This one's a little bit smaller, so it shouldn't take as long, but we're doing all right, just as long as we keep it by the corn. I'm going to try to do this one in first person, guys, just because it's, it's pretty fun, honestly, running this T7. I don't know what the next tractor will be. I don't know. That 1586, guys, it really it holds a special place in my heart. It was my grandpa's old one, so I just don't know if I can get rid of it. But at the same time, you know, <laughs> I'm trying to make money. And you can't make my money if you're holding on to stuff that shouldn't be around, if you know what I'm saying. But that one's in good shape, yeah. It'd be different if it was, like, a complete pile and I was dumping a bunch of money into it all the time. But I don't know. We'll see where it leads us. I, uh... Like I mentioned in the first video, guys, I'd really consider a T6 um, or like a T um, or a Maxim, I mean. They're about the same size, and I mean, we could maybe go a little smaller like a T5, but I think T6 would be nice because if we're going to upgrade, let's upgrade a little bit, you know. We get a loader for that, and that'd be our main loader tractor. That's the thing. The 1586 is a nice tractor. It's just a rough loader tractor, and my grandpa always used it as his main loader tractor, and that's why I decided I was going to use it as mine. I I do run the 706 on the feeder wagon, um, and then fill it with that. But yeah, I'm not sure yet what we're going to end up doing. This is going really well. I just hope we can get around to the other the other side. I, that's what I'm worried about. I put the I put the 15 in close to the same spot where we had it last time, knowing that this wagon was going to get full more soon just because it's smaller it's quite a bit smaller but we're out here running it chopping silage this would be where guys if we could get a a secondary guy would be kind of kind of nice just because of the fact that we could have somebody running loads for us while we chop and um i am gonna go ahead i think and toss my email in my bio guys or um instagram actually let's do it that way um go follow farm and fred on instagram i post usually when i post a new video i say hey you know guys a new video up well if any of you guys have a pc and are wanting to play farm sim i know i've had a few people mention in the comments and stuff it's just it's kind of hard to communicate through comments on youtube so go ahead message me on instagram drop me you know um your name if you have a youtube channel you can go ahead and throw that in there too and then i could go check it out or whatever and if we have like similar playing styles it's nothing against you guys if you don't play the same as me it's just i'd rather have somebody on my channel that plays similar to me like realistic wise but um yeah if we're if i could get a second guy that'd be awesome for stuff like this so if you if you'd be interested in helping me on my farm i mean we'd have to figure out mods and everything like that but that'd be i think a lot of fun so for you guys that play on PC, um, throwing that in there. Also, guys, some night I'm looking into. Um, I hope we don't hit our truck. Okay, we're good. But I'm looking into some night having a live server on. Um, I don't know whether it's going to be for a video or for a live stream yet, but um, for cross-platform. So I'd have to get all my Xbox and PlayStation mods figured out. But um, I think that'd be really fun to do a series with that. Um, maybe not very many videos on it but like five ten videos maybe or something like that but again guys we are continuing on with umrv so if you're like hey fred um 
you know, Westby, Wisconsin, I'm really not digging the whole dairy thing. Make sure to just throw in there, hey, I'd love to play on um, on UMRV with you. I think your farm's awesome on there. I'd like to be a part of it. And we could definitely work something out with that. But if you guys want to do some dairy farming or maybe you want to do both, um, just let me know. Um, obviously, know your capabilities of your PC and everything like that to make sure they can run. I mean, half of you guys probably run more mods than I do. Um, make sure, you know, it's good enough to be, play multiplayer and run mods and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, and the in the comments you know um it, it's nice to hear you guys would like to play and um you know like to have a multiplayer farm which i think would be a lot of fun but um just go ahead and uh, message me on instagram that'll be the easiest way for sure so guys i did not quite time this out perfectly like i was hoping for i can see that we're already going to be a little too far out of reach um we're at 86 so we are getting there I thought about getting rid of this silage wagon and gaining another Meyer one. The Meyer ones are so nice. They're so big and they hold a lot. And But if I, I think if I get another one, I'm going to get one with the tandem axle on the back. And I might, depending on what we get for a chopper, it'd be whether or not it has the the um, like front end. This one does, like the rotating front end. Uh, we're about full guys so close we we were pretty close that time I'd say with making sure everything lined up perfect 97% full oh man this is gonna work out really nice honestly cuz then we can take our path yeah we'll call that good now we can get off the way a little bit here and we'll just um We'll drop it, and then we'll just start fresh again from over here, I think. So let's uh, let's go ahead and drop this trailer. Oh, we'll pull the T7 up over here, and then we'll get started right here. But obviously, I'm not going to do it yet. We'll wait till we get the other silage wagon over here. We'll just drop that over roughly. Was it? Oh, okay, guys. That was a little bit farther off than I expected it to be. I was really thinking I was closer. Guys, again, I'm kind of trying to pay attention to how long the video is going to be. Really not sure, but um, I'm definitely having a lot of fun with this. But yeah, uh, the multiplayer thing I think would be a really good time. And um, I'd be interested in playing with you guys for sure. Just, uh, yeah, throw it in, the, throw it on my Instagram, uh, on Messenger or whatever on Instagram or however you say it these days, even though I'm really not that old. But um, yeah, however you guys um, like want to, I guess like your style of play on farm sim just uh let me know because i think it could be a lot of fun okay we'll just as of right now just drop it right here oh yeah i gotta there we go dropped and we might swing the t7 over here and hook it up quick just so we're ready to roll but i i want to keep up on the this whole switching process to you guys It'd be a lot nicer with two people because we can each uh Oh, come on, PTO. I just have to pull it forward a little bit, get it straightened out for us. There we go. There we go. But, um, let's see here. We'll get, I guess we should get that hooked up as fast as we can. But yeah, I really, nothing against this new Holland one, guys. It's just older in this Meyer one. I really enjoy. It's, it's nice. Get hooked up to it quick and we'll at least get not saying we're gonna get started yet, but we'll We'll get ready to roll with it. I'm gonna take this corner quick. Just cause I saw we have quite a bit just sitting right there. And we'll just kinda start in where we can here. That'll work, we'll shut it off and we'll get out quick and jump over to our 15 here and we'll go unload up at the blower on 706 man we're making I'd say we're making pretty good time though for how I mean it feels like we're moving slow but I think we're getting quite a bit done honestly but, um, 
yeah, we'll probably unload this guys and call it a video just because, I don't know, that's pretty good, I think, two times getting it dumped. Um, I'll have to probably start hauling some uh, manure too, both liquid and compost. Um, probably use the, I don't know, guys, but we'll probably use the uh, T7 for compost on the one, uh, 195 there, and then we'll use, um, I'd say, the uh, 380 for hauling liquid. Which I thought about, I'm not sure yet though, but I've thought about getting a, um, oh, like um, bigger manure tank. This one's not huge, so I've thought about doing that, and I've, I don't know, I've thrown around the idea, okay, this would be if I started doing custom stuff for other guys. If I started hauling custom manure, um, like liquid, I would get like a bigger tank, and then I would get um, like a tractor with floaters on it. But we'll see. Getting her done again, guys. With the silage side of things. These silage wagons just unload so slowly. But that's just how how it'll be sometimes. So guys, we'll keep going on silage. Not sure how much more I'm gonna be able to get done today. Again, any. Any interest in um, joining the Farm and Fred team and helping me out a little bit on my farms would be greatly appreciative. Um, just make sure to go follow me on Instagram, and um, you guys should be able to notice it. It's just, I believe it's just um, just my uh, YouTube name, and it's my uh, YouTube profile picture. So it'll be, uh, be the same thing. And yeah, if you guys want to join the channel, for sure. Um, I'd be open to it. Um, have to figure out everything with mods and everything like that, I said. But, uh, yeah, guys, always, always appreciative of what you guys do for me. Um, and liking my videos, commenting, watching, subscribing, it all adds up. And I just thank you guys for participating and spreading the word about Farm and Fred. So, like always, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see any other content or anything else, change it up, or me change it up a little bit, just, um, just make sure to leave a comment, and I'll definitely look at it for sure. I don't think I've missed a comment yet. I hope not. If I have, I'm really sorry. But, uh, you know, guys, I just appreciate it a lot. So, like always, guys, thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your day.